Not very far from Edgewood, in historic Frederick, Maryland, are the biological warfare laboratories. Here, men and women of science are doing basically the same type of work as in other government, university, and industrial laboratories, a combination of medical and public health research. While I was at Fort Detrick, I was able to follow partway through an experiment to determine the effectiveness of an agent. Volunteers are important to the testing picture. For many years, information has been needed on the effect of a biological warfare attack on man, so that we can have a better understanding of how to defend ourselves against it. The volunteers were a picked group. They had received psychiatric interviews to determine their maturity and reliability, as well as mental outlook. Medical histories and laboratory checks on the volunteers had been extremely stringent. Any history of a chronic disease, any allergic reaction or nervous disorder was a cause for rejection. Volunteers were given the opportunity to drop out and drop out and drop out at any out at any time. I was to watch the progress of the experiment from the control room. The volunteers had been positioned in cubicles on the outside of the test sphere, a hollow steel ball 40 feet in diameter, in which a cloud of biological warfare agent can be generated. Through a series of controllable valves and a face mask, it was possible to expose a person in each cubicle to a measured volume of biological aerosol from the sphere. I said before I was able to follow part way through the experiment, the final part. As was expected, the volunteers were temporarily incapacitated but within a short time, they were up and around, completely recovered. They had the satisfaction of having played an important part in obtaining information, which would immediately be given to the public health service to bolster our defenses against disease. Research has led to many scientific findings beneficial to mankind, such as a perfected vaccine for controlling industrial anthrax, a usually fatal disease of cattle and sheep. Still another accomplishment, protective devices for the safe handling of disease-causing microorganisms and their harmful products. Just a few of the many byproducts of biological warfare research.